Hello YouTubers, been out playing in my forge today and I made a set of tongs. I've been making these uh, tong blanks and I don't really advertise them for sale because I want to learn how to make them myself before I sell a bunch of them but I have been selling a few to people that come to my shop to buy the swage blocks and uh, some of the other stuff I sell. So I took a pair of these blanks and made these tongs. I'm kind of proud of them. I'm not real happy with the rivet. I still got to learn how to do that, but it is, they are tight and they do work. That's the main thing. I made the, I made these tongs as tong making tongs. They will hold these blanks. They will pass by like that. That's why they're on an angle. So you can grab them, you know, clear up here if you want to. And then they have the grooves on the side, so you can grab them from the side. And they will hold pretty good. Hold good enough to uh, do the job. This set of tong blanks are what I've made up for making hammer making tongs. They will get bent out like that and then come back in like that in this rounded portion will come together like this kind of and that's what they use to make use to hold hammers and uh, maybe hatchets or axes when they're making them so right now I'm gonna make a set of these I'm not real good at it yet but uh, I will show you making one half and then we'll put them together and uh, see if I can adjust them and get them to make in tongs for hammers I got a new hammer from uh, Wahlberg Forge up there in uh, Michigan. It's a rounding and flattening hammer. It's about three pounds. Give me something a little bit heavier to swing. So we might try to use that one on this job. I don't know if I'll need anything that heavy for this. I got the forge going. Let's get this heating up. I'll take you and put you at my vise. I think we'll go over there to start with. Okay, the first thing I want to do is get that bent that direction. Then I'll come up here and bring it back in. I wanted a little sharper bend than that, so I need it. kind of like what I want, but I don't know if the angles are quite right yet. Now I'll bit, go heat the other one up and get it bent, and then we can lay them on top of each other and see. Okay, I've got them both locked in the vise here, and I'm not quite what I want. There's how they will work, but I have to get them bent so they are uh, come together. Actually, you don't want them to come together, but parallel with each other or straight across from each other. So I think I'm going to brush them off, heat up the hinge area, and punch the hole for my hinge. I've been showing a lot of people these tongs when they come to visit, but I don't think they understand 
the hammer making tongs. So I thought it would be a good idea to get a set of them made. I think I think the next step I'm going to do is round off the reins here so they're not so sharp on the hands. Then after I rivet them together, I can adjust the reins and the tongs. I think they're called gibs or jibs or something like that. That's close right there. Let's get the rivets punched. Rivet hole. I think punching a hole is neat. See if we can get her all the way through this time. Punch through. Now I have a little quarter inch drift that I use right there. Make sure I'm uh, fully opened up. quarter wrench for my uh, rivet. That one's done. Now I'll do the other one. Let's just see if my hold down makes this uh, process a little bit less aggravating. I don't know if you heard that popping sound like that. I think it was water getting trapped in underneath there. I 
half sheet. Let's hit it once on this side. Flip it over and see if we can see the spot. Went through. Now we'll grab that little drift. Luckily, it's, it hasn't gotten hot. There. Now before I rivet them together, I'm going to shape these reins and take the, the sharp edge off of them. Heat it up again. I've got a whole bunch of these rivets. They're way too long, so I cut this one off. I think I got it about the right length to go through the tongs and give me enough length on the other side there to head that rivet. I've got a rivet header. This is the one that sets on the anvil. And this is the one I hammer. I had to adjust it because I had the, the rivet dome way too deep. So I adjusted that. And now I'm going to heat up that rivet. And pound that head onto it. Hopefully. Now I've had a lot of trouble with heating the rivet up then getting it into the tongs so I'll try it again but I've had better luck with having it in the tongs and then bringing the tongs over and one quick move uh, hammer it the head off of it. Okay there's the rivet we gotta work quick see it won't go in there it expanded just enough and by the time I get it down in there, it's cooled off. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together. Now I'm going to go stick that in the, the forge and try to get that rivet hot. Okay, I forgot to turn the camera on, but what I did was I adjusted these like that. So more of the round part of the that knob will be contacting the hammer that you're working on. I think that's about what I want right there. These scrolling tongs here that I got at Quad State are really coming in handy. They've got FFF stamped in them. I can't remember the guy's uh, forge name. I 
like the looks of that. Still aren't coming quite together like I thought they were. There. Now I gotta work on the reins. Because if you put a hammer in there, now you're so far apart you can't you can't grab it. Okay, you caught me cheating a little bit here. Done is I've locked that in my vise about the opening that you would have it if you were uh, forging a hammer. Now I'm trying to adjust these. To where I'd want it. For the opening for me to grab while the hammer's in there. Let's grab a hammer and see. Okay, I went and found an old hammer. This is how they're, they're used. You can grab them and just flip your stuff around, roll it over. When you're forging different areas on the hammer, you see those pros using these type of things all the time. And they're real quick with it on their power hammers and stuff. I think I may have a pair of... I've got... These are my small ones. I've got longer ones. And we'll see if I can make those into some hammer tongs. For some uh, big sledgehammers or something. There they are. All I did was round these edges off so it wasn't such a sharp corner. I'm going to tighten that rivet up a little bit and then I'll call it done.